Let's begin. A 38-year-old man who recently immigrated to the USA comes to the physician because of a one-month history of cough and weight loss. Physical examination shows no abnormalities. A chest x-ray shows a right upper lobe infiltrate. One of three sputum samples is positive for acid fast bacilli. Treatment with isoniazid, rifampin, ethambutol, and pyrazinamide is started. Which of the following should be added to the medication regimen to prevent neurologic toxicity? Okay. So, the answer here is C, vitamin B6. It is clear from the vignette that the patient has tuberculosis TB. We can derive to that conclusion from the clues provided, such as immigration, cough, and weight loss. However, more concrete evidence are the X-ray results and sputum culture that easily points to mycobacterium tuberculosis. But, that is not the question. They indirectly give you that information, as the patient is prescribed medications. From all the given medications, isoniazid, INH, is known to cause peripheral neuropathy, because of depleted vitamin B6. Vitamin B6, pyridoxine, supplementation during isoniazid therapy, is necessary in some patients to prevent the development of peripheral neuropathy. Pyridoxine is converted into coenzymes, which play an essential role in the metabolism of protein, carbohydrates, fatty acids, and several other substances, including brain amines. Isoniazid competitively inhibits the action of pyridoxine seen in these metabolic functions, and that is why the answer here is C, vitamin B6. Here, we have a 76-year-old man, with a history of prostatic hypertrophy, who has a recent onset of increased difficulty urinating. Symptoms began, shortly after he started taking a nasal decongestant orally for cold symptoms. Which of the following types of receptors is most likely to be involved in these adverse effects? So, for prostatic hypertrophy, we give patients alpha blockers. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is partly due to proliferation of smooth muscle in the bladder neck, urethra, and prostate. Therefore alpha-1 blockade is one of the main symptomatic treatments to relieve smooth muscle tension. In this patient in the vignette, the symptoms get worse after taking a nasal decongestant, that is, he has increased difficulty urinating. An alpha agonist can do that. We know of many such nasal decongestants that are alpha agonists. For example, phenylephrine is an alpha agonist. 